Hey guys, today we got a pastor getting a gun pointing at him in the middle of the church, but I just want to say sorry. Um, we haven't been doing these reacts in a while because YouTube keeps on trying to give us strikes, but uh, let's see if we could get through this one without any YouTube trouble. All right, let's get into it. Oh, hey guys, as you can see, that was pretty wild. There's a couple of things, you know, I've always heard self-defense instructors say, watch where you're going, you know, like, of course, a fight is going to happen at a bar. But, you know, I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of everybody going to church thought they were going to have a safe little evening. As you can see, as soon as this guy walks up and points the gun, the pastor's reaction is pretty fast to just get out of Dodge. Look at him. He's like, nope and takes cover if you guys want instructions and tips and tutorials of what to do in these kind of situations hit the link in the description it's uh you'll be trained by cia secret ops self-defense mma instructors that will be able to teach you a lot more than just me reacting to this video real professionals hit the link in the description and you'll get free lessons and instructions for situations like this the guy with the gun just goes for him. He wasn't like it. I wonder if it had something to do with um, the pastor because he could have turned around at that point after like if he just wanted to cause mayhem after the guy took off and hid behind the thing and he starts stepping over instead of stepping over. He could just turn the gun to the audience, the crowd, but uh, he's just going after that pastor and there's the other keyboard guy and then some guy from the audience jumps over and grabs him puts him in like a bear hug from behind and the pastor comes and gets the gun with the guy that was the hero uh this was in western pennsylvania it was a 26 year old man that pulled the gun on a preacher during a live stream church service police also investigated after they reported that officers also found a man fatally shot to death in the suspect's home later that evening man this is crazy. Uh, the gun did not go off, but he definitely pulled the trigger. It was a gentleman who randomly did something up the road, and the next place he came to was the church. He said spirits were telling him to shoot the pastor. I think the guy that was the hero, his name was Clarence. Man. Was Jesus not looking after them? Huh? Because the gun jammed. That is crazy. So, you know, I remember Mark saying, you're never going to hear a crazy church uh, story at church. You know, just to kind of say, like, watch your surroundings of where you go. Of course, like, something could happen at a bar. There's a higher chance. But at church, the chance would be lower. Also, Derek Smith always talks about, like, the four categories of, like, um, being your alertness level. You know, with, like, white being relaxed and unaware. Yellow being, you're still re uh, relaxed, but you're aware of your surroundings. Orange is a uh, alert to danger, ready for action, and red being action mode, focus on the threat. It just goes to show you, man, like, it doesn't matter if you're going to a bar or whatever, you know, something crazy could always happen, so maybe you should never be in that white, relaxed, unaware. You should always be at that yellow state, which is aware of all your surroundings. Um, yeah, I wanted to just, you know, jump on here and get your guys' uh, reactions and comments and feedback of what you guys think about this. Um, you know, le also, in these kind of situations, it's easy to say what you would do. Like, oh, I would have jumped up or I would have, you know, if I was the pastor, I would have did a backflip drop kick on him. Like, But realistically... What do you think about the pastor getting out of Dodge? I mean, I thought his reaction time was really fast. What about the hero that came up from the audience when somebody had a gun? Thankfully, you know, the shooter was not focused on the crowd at all. And he was able to kind of like sneak up and get him in a bear hug. Um, what do you think about this happening at a church? Should you, you know, we put up some videos and we get comments saying that, oh, everybody's just too paranoid these days. Should you be aware of your surroundings at all times give your feedback and comments we love reading them and it could help influence the next video or videos we react to videos we make and 
you know, just open up the discussions and let other people read your comments. And, you know, that's how we build up a community. All right, guys, thanks for jumping on here with me. Remember, we got a link in the bottom of the description. If instead of just getting the editor's reaction to this video, if you guys want Navy SEALs and CIA members and self-defense instructors and actually true professionals that know what they're talking about, click that link. You'll get free fight videos, free discussions that will really help you.